Oh, did you see what I did? Oh, I'm so dumb. So dumb. Hello, I'm the Edge McKenna, and this is lesson 15 for Seven Days to Die. So, um, I've got, um, I've got the forge going, breaking down some iron, some stone. I already have some, uh, concrete being made, but here's the thing, and here's what I am learning, um, from Patch 10. They added tons of stuff. And I probably should have read the notes a little bit better. Uh, if I want a... If I want to make a seat for the mini bike and concrete, uh, I'm going to need a workbench. So, you can see here, I need a lot of forged iron. 25, actually. Let's come back in here and actually have that being made. Last night I made an anvil so that we could start to make some stuff in here. So we've got that going. Like I said, a bunch of concrete being made. Uh, we also need 20 mechanical parts. And uh, as of right now, I have five, so I need 15 more. Uh, we need a wrench. I'm going to use that, that cheapo wrench that I found last time. And we also need to make a hammer. Now, the hammer takes 20 forged iron. So we should actually make another 20 of those. Okay. So the plan, the plan right now is to find those mechanical parts. The other thing I want to do is uh, I need some wood. I need a lot of wood because I want to make a lot of spikes. I also need to get a lot of iron. And I'm not talking about the little iron nuggets. I'm talking about iron iron so I can up upgrade my spikes. <sighs> and I think that probably tomorrow I will spend time. Oh, okay. Got another phone call. So I had to pause the video. I'm not sure what I was talking about. Spikes. Yeah, spikes. All right, here's what we're doing right now. We're going back in here. We're going to find anything, <clears throat> excuse me, anything that could have, ooh, I can come in here and take out these shelves and get some more um, metal. We need to find anything that's going to have mechanical parts. I honestly don't know if the cash register counts. I would think it does, but it didn't. Coolers have electrical and electrical components. Um, I need toilets. I don't think sink does. It doesn't. Now, am I going to get... Well, I think I am. I think I didn't even have to answer my question. Oh, okay. Um, let's check in here first. Oh, yeah. Um, I think uh, by using the wrench on those, on the sink, I kind of got more stuff out of it than I would have if I just pounded on it. Am I just hitting it? I seem to just be hitting it. Um, so let's, uh, let's go up. Um, you know what? Let's see if there's air conditioner up here. There is. 
What do I get for a... No. I'm just banging the crap out of it. Let's see... Boogers! Really? Not... I mean, yeah, there's one. That's... It's rare, though, guys. I mean, I'm not really getting a lot of it as compared to some of the other stuff that I pick up. See, I only have four. Yikes. Woo. Stove, right? Come on. All right, so uh, things, let's see. Let's try to make sense of this. Things that are plugged in are more electrical. Therefore, they have more electrical parts. Nothing. I looked it up and they said that toilets would. Was that a lie? So, where, where have I found most of it? I, don't, I don't, honestly, I don't really know. Let's go. Tell you the thing that I think is going to kill me is the fact that uh, the tools are so expensive compared to what they used to be. So much more. Come on. 105. Yeah. See, I. Mm. I'm not getting I'm not getting good stuff. Uh again because of quality Joe. I I really need to up quality Joe. All right, there's one, two, two. So if we get two There's three, four, seems completely random. I want to see if there's any in the backyard. Let's see, I know office chairs, get off. This is mechanical. One, come on, Kali. Well, okay, I got two out of that. This is electrical, isn't it? I mean, those parts are going to come in handy, so, you know, I don't mind, but... Oh, I sure was hoping for a lot more, uh... Mechanical parts. This is electrical. Ooh, what about lockers? It would make sense to me that lockers would. Well, you're just beating the crap out of them. I want that. Let's go in the backyard. We gotta be getting close, huh? Fifteen. How much do I have it? I think I, I think I have, um, no, I think I have enough now.
Okay. Let's head back. Let's see if we can't put that workbench together. What I'm hoping is that by tomorrow, by horror night, I should say, I want to start at least one, one spot of Um, and it's going to be pretty small, I would think, but at least one spot of, no, see, see okay, here's what I'm going to say, all right, one spot of pillars, okay, just small enough that hopefully they will, the, they being the zombies, will come around to a certain corner and um, and attack that one spot, which I know is not very likely, but it's kind of what I'm hoping for. Oops, take that back. As soon as I start putting down, I mean, I'm gonna need a lot more. I'm gonna need a lot of concrete for this. Ah, oh, so there's just so much to think about. All right, let's go get the iron. Forged iron, I should say. Uh. All right. Check, 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 check. But I actually want to use... I want to make one first. Holy cow. I want to see which one's going to be higher, this one or the 123. All right, I'll be ready to put my, once that's done, I'm going to create my uh, workbench. Let's see, where do we want it? Um, this is more than likely going to be storage or no, more than likely, this is going to be my garage area. Yep, I will probably close this off. Make this my garage area. These more than likely will get moved. And so probably move everything in here. So put storage maybe on this wall. And so, and I want to open this up a little bit. Probably open this up a couple of more. I want it to go right in the corner, so I'll probably put it right about there. Come on, hammer. It's hammer time. Do, 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 do. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Okay, so we will use this one. Uh, let's go ahead and just, let's come over here and put that in there. Four minutes. All right. Let's put that away. Let's let's clear the area a little bit. I'll probably take ah. Uh, I was gonna say I'll probably take a day just to do kind of boring stuff. Um. But that's going to run, I mean, I guess I could take the rest of this day and do boring stuff. Like I want to take out the, all of this. Oh, fudge. Do you see what I did? 
Oh, did you see what I did? Oh, I'm so dumb. So dumb. Oh, goodness. Ah, oh, crumb. Shoot, where is it? Yep, I used the good one and not this piece of crap to make the workbench. Is it too late to cancel? Uh, uh, uh. Darn it. Ah, what's it? How does it make the choice? All right, you go in there, you go in there, make it, make the darn thing thank you oh my goodness oh my goodness all right but it's good i didn't use my good wrench oh and to make the to make the concrete i need a concrete mixer let's and a concrete mixer i have to make in the workbench so god i really i had no idea uh, that all of this was included in the update. Now, I like it, um, because I always thought it was kind of odd that I, there was stuff that I could do with my hands. So, it add adds a little bit of, uh, realis realism to it, and I think that's cool. I don't have a problem with that at all. Uh, that, that's fun to me. You know, it gives, it just... I don't know, along with some realism, it's variety. Uh, I, I like it. I like it. So I don't mind. So as soon as I get my workbench up and running, I'm immediately going to start doing concrete. No, I'm going to make a concrete mixer, then I can do the concrete. I also want to take out... Really hungry? I want to take out those steps. I want to take out that. There's a bunch of junk in here. So what happens when I tear this up? It falls all over the ground. I don't want any of that though. Uh, taking this out is going to take forever, but you know what? I only need to do the first row because this is what I want to do. Oh, I want to lay that down all the way around. Maybe I should do this corner first and then hope that they come from this side or this side. Ah, okay. All right. Ah, a minute. Ah, dang, I thought it was ready. Let's just drop. Oh, I got another engine. I didn't see what it was, though. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about, boys. Look at that. That's a good engine. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. All right. So, that engine will be used for the mini bike. And one of these crappy little things will be used for the... Um, Concrete mixer. Oh, that's just tremendous. All right, eight seconds. Yeah, I need to fix this corner. Oh, there's so much to be done. It's going to be great. What's nice is that I can still do looting in this small town and, uh, and do building. Oh, my goodness. There's just so much to do. It's awesome. Yeah, I think, let's see, if I take out that one, yeah, I think maybe a three, uh, an opening that's three wide would be good. So that means, okay, that one will be gone. That one will be the first, and that puts that right there. All right, timer. Okay, I got you, buddy. I got you. I got you. All right. Oh, wait. Let's see. What do we need? 
look at that. My very first one. What do I need? No, that's building. I don't want building. There we go. Handlebars. Mini bike, mini bike. Oh, just great, just great. Well, look at that. You can make mechanical parts. You got to learn it, though. All right, what am I looking for? I am looking for a concrete mixer. All right, let's look. Do you think it'll look under mixer? Because that's easier. Thank you. Forged iron 25. Four springs, a small engine. Oh, and 10 more mechanical parts. Ah, oh, crumb, man. All right. Well, that's where I'm going to go right now. Okay, guys, but the timer has gone off, so I'm going to end the lesson right there. Hey, your homework is to subscribe, to like, and to comment. I hope that you'll enjoy, or rather, I hope that you're enjoying um, Seven Days to Die. I love it. I hope you're enjoying uh, my videos, and uh, that's why I ask that you um, like and subscribe. But if nothing else, just leave a comment. I love interacting. I hope that... Uh, You'll leave some advice, perhaps even some criticism, and uh, I look forward to reading them and responding. So that's it for me, guys. I'll see you next time.